Hey everyone, I'm Scott Stokely and I am getting ready to tee off in about 90 minutes for the Waco Charity Cup. And I am doing it inside my vehicle because on the other side of that window, it's in the high 30s with wind chill in the high 20s. And it's also possibly gonna be raining today. Oh yeah, and the wind is blowing 20 to 25 miles per hour steady with gusts up to 45. Uh, the best thing I read was there is a, uh, an alert in town today from the news that says, don't drive trucks today. So basically, if you have an 8,000 pound vehicle, they're recommending that you stay at home. And we're going to be throwing plastic Frisbees in the park. So it's going to be an interesting day. <laughs> um, before I go on, all of my tour series discs are at scottstokely.net. Uh, you can pick them up. My Right now, I got my Berg, my Stahl, and my Harp. Uh, everybody knows Tour Series discs fly better in heavy wind than regular discs. Does something about the hot stamp or some other marketing pitch. I haven't come up with it yet. But when I get it polished, I'll tell you why they're better in the wind. Uh, but go check them out. Uh, ScottStokely.net. All right. So, I have a five-point plan to survive today. Uh, but there's an understanding that I'm gonna follow these. It's going to give me the best possible chance to perform well, and uh, I might not. <laughs> there's such a randomness to days like this in this wind that you just have to accept the fact that you do everything right, you may still get terrible results. I, there's nothing you can do about it. But increase your chance by doing these five things. Okay, number one, just, just be prepared. Uh, sounds obvious, but a lot of players aren't. Uh, this is the one thing you have complete control over, and there's zero excuse for not being prepared. Uh, it's going to be cold. Layers, multiple layers, 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 layers. You can always take layers off. Uh, don't wear some big heavy thing. Wear, a, wear more layers of lighter things. Gloves, got to keep the hands warm. Fill them full of hand warmers. Uh, if there's any chance of rain, the umbrella and towels. Like, boy, does that seem obvious, right? I've been around a long time. I've seen more players get caught in the rain. They're like, oh, it was 20% chance of rain. Didn't think I needed my umbrella. No, you carry your umbrella if there's a 1% chance of rain. And if you don't use it, like it didn't cost you anything. Be prepared. Now, as far as preparing for heavy wind, there's really only one thing you can do. Uh, and that is when there's heavy wind, practice in it. Even if it's a not fun to play disc golf day, you got to go out and practice in the wind. Okay, number two, <laughs> you got to have a, the right mindset because if you get frustrated out here today, like you're done, you're dead in the water. You like you, you have to just roll with everything that happens. The biggest thing to remember when you're playing out in conditions that are really extreme is that it's not happening to you. It's happening to everybody. Like when you have like a nine foot putt that spits out and rolls away, that wasn't a bad break for you. Everybody's getting nine foot putts spitting out and rolling away. I mean, that's just gonna happen today or at least to enough people where it's like, it, you know, the weather's not picking on you. Uh, this also means the mindset is when you look at your score, it's not ever about the score on the paper. I and mean, this is the case always, but especially on days like this, it's never about your score on the paper. It's the score on the paper relative to the field. So if you normally shoot par and you shoot nine over, well, if the field on average is shooting 12 strokes worse than they normally would, you actually gained three strokes. You didn't lose nine strokes to your average. You gained three strokes against the field. It's not about individual score. I also think <laughs> this is hard to do. Well, actually, I don't find it hard, but I think a lot of people do. Laugh. Not at the other person. That'll just make them mad. Laugh at yourself. Like, it really just takes the edge off. When you have something, bad luck happen, you're like, <laughs> what are you going to do? Um, I think that's, I think it's key. Okay. Next. 
all shots are low and flat. Okay, that is the key, the number one key mechanical thing. This is a wing. These are meant to be wings. Wings fly, wings fly into the wind. When the disc is flying like this, it becomes a sail. Now, sails are good. In light or moderate wind, you put the disc up on its side, it turns into a sail. You use that wind to give it extra distance or you use that wind to throw around an obstacle, but use the sail, the wind pushing the sail back out of the fairway. Sails are a good thing in moderate wind. In heavy wind, sails are never like 0% a good thing. That's why you're never gonna throw a roller in heavy wind because that is 100% sail. Show as little the disc of the wind as possible at all times. The next is, and I guess this maybe goes more towards mindset, but not really, I guess it's more towards a strategy. So we're gonna call this a separate category. You need to be playing for pars sometimes on holes that you would normally birdie. It's even okay to play for bogey at times. There are holes in heavy wind where players are gonna get double, triple, quintuple bogeys, good players, because they're trying to par but they might be fairly routine to bogey if you're playing for bogey. Don't think of that as a lost stroke. Remember, you're scoring relative to the field. Um, <laughs> there are holes where you just have to just, you know, what's the expression? Take a bite out of the shit sandwich? Do that. It's not fun. But once you accept that you're going to get a bogey on the hole, sometimes that bogey becomes pretty routine. You don't lose strokes depending on the hole. Uh, by the way, this also means pars. I mean... You can have a hole, it's 240 feet into a head headwind. You might be able to get up and birdie that hole sometimes. But it doesn't make sense to go for it if you can throw a routine par every time. You don't win by playing well in weather like this. You win by playing less worse than everybody else. Nobody is scoring well. Zero people are going to score well today. The most successful players are the ones who score the least poorly. Final thing, always consider your landing zone. Biggest error players make in the wind is they don't consider where they're landing their shot. You have a 260 foot hole, you're playing it for par. Throw 50 feet upwind to the hole, not 50 feet downwind to the hole because in a 25 or 30 mile an hour wind, a 50 foot approach shot is not a guaranteed up and down. 50 foot tailwind shot, you're probably gonna get. Uh, if you're 30 feet away and you're laying up from 30 feet, which by the way, you should be doing in most situations today, don't lay up and land eight feet from the basket downwind and have an eight foot headwind putt. Even an eight foot headwind putt, I mean, that's so close, you could hit the middle of the chains every time, even in 30 mile an hour winds. Well, guess what, an eight foot headwind putt can hit the chains perfectly. And then when it falls into the basket, it turns into a sail and blows right back out again. Eight foot tailwind putt is a drop in. You have to consider your landing zone every time. Like don't even consider it a bad break. If you land your approach shot and have to putt up wind of any distance and you get a bad break, it's not a bad break. You landed your shot in the wrong place. Always consider where you land. That's it. Like if there's more to playing in extreme conditions, especially extreme wind, I don't know what it is, but the players who succeed today are gonna be uh, doing most or all of those things. So, uh, except for the laughing part, not everybody laughs, but <laughs> I recommend it. All right, uh, I hope this helps. Uh, go out and practice next time you have heavy winds, get used to it. And uh, uh, if you like this, post to your social media. Make sure you subscribe and um, I will let you know how it goes in a few hours. <laughs> Thanks, everyone.